First thing I wanted to do is I wanted to apologize for how delayed this announcement has been, but um, you all probably noticed that Tom's been a little busy the last couple of weeks. He uh, took the weekend off and he looks refreshed. We, we had a number as we walked around the building, a number of people said, boy, you look a little older on TV and uh, he, looks, he looks young and ready to go now. But um, we are very, very excited to introduce Tom Thibodeau as our head basketball coach today. Um, Tom is a guy, you know, all of us know about his defensive credentials, his defensive knowledge. I think that's pretty well known. Um, but as we went about the process and we talked to a number of people that have worked with Tom, uh, a number of people around the league, and then when John and I had a chance to visit with Tom in Los Angeles, the thing that really became apparent to us is that, <clears throat> excuse me, he's got a very, very creative offensive mind. And we really liked some of the ideas that he presented as far as using the talent that we have on the offensive end of the floor. Uh, Tom and I visited a number of times throughout the process. And as we visited, and then again, when John and I visited with him in Los Angeles, the other thing that became very apparent to us um, was that he shared a lot of the same ideas in general and really the same vision that we had for our team as far as moving forward, where we wanted to go, how we wanted to go about it. Um, Tom is a guy that in the last 20 years has worked for some of the brightest minds uh, and worked with some of the brightest minds in the game of basketball. Uh, he's coached in a number of big games. Uh, he's coached in a number of playoff games. Everywhere that he's been, uh, they've had success. And, and obviously he's been a part, uh, a big part of, of coaching championship level basketball. He's got great knowledge of the game. Uh, he's experienced. He's got knowledge of the league, knowledge of the players. He's got a proven track record, I think, in developing young players. And as part of our process, we talked to a number of players that had played under Tom. And, and I guess two of the examples that popped out are, are Yao Ming at Houston, uh, Rondo at Boston. Um, but the feedback that we got from the players that we talked to is that Tom is a terrific communicator and a terrific teacher of the game. Um, I, I know our guys that we've talked to and, and we've talked to all of our players are very, very excited uh, about the opportunity to play under Tom. So I, I think the biggest thing that we got out of it uh, as we met with Tom, as we visited with him through the process, as we visited with a number of people that he's worked with and people around the league, is that Tom Thibodeau is a winner. And we're, we're looking forward to having him here. We're, we're excited that he's in the Chicago Bull organization. Um, we're excited to have him as the leader of our basketball team and, and want to welcome Tom. Thank you, Gar. Uh, it's a great city. Uh, I certainly understand uh, the, the great tradition and history of the team. Uh, I think Chicago's a terrific sports town. I uh, understand it. I've been told a lot about it by Doc. Uh, he obviously loves it. Uh, he's uh, made me well aware of the, uh, the Bears in the 80s, the Bulls in the 90s, uh, and of course the White Sox so we're in, and the Cubs. So we're, you know, I'm, I'm aware of that and I, I'm glad to be part of this city. It's been a long wait for me uh, to get a head coaching job in this league and to be in this city with this team uh, is a dream come true for me. And for that reason, uh, I'd also like to thank Danny Ainge, Doc Rivers, and the Celtic organization for what they have meant to me for my career. Uh, it, it was a great three years, uh, winning a championship and, uh, and nearly a second one, uh, but I feel all the things that they did for me helped me get here. Rose is a very special player. When he's coming at you with a head of steam, very difficult to contain. Uh, you know, and, and the big thing is with him is uh, you want him to continue to develop, and he's got to be a leader of the team. He's got to help lead this team. Uh, and, and I think a lot of the things that he's doing, I think uh, a big part of his growth has to be on the defensive end to be a, a complete player. Uh, it's gonna, and it starts on the ball. If we're going to be a great defensive team, uh, it, it's going to start with him. And uh, a lot of the stuff that he, we're going to ask him to do. Uh, 
he's going to have to work at it every day, and we're and at, we're going to have to work at it as a team. And I expect them to lead us in practice and lead us in the games. And uh, of course, uh, I just love Joe Kim. I think uh, when when you look at the things that he brings to the table, uh, uh, his passion, his energy, his rebounding, uh, his improvement. Uh, uh, I was looking at his statistics, and I, he really has done a great job with his free throw. Uh, I think one of the most underrated parts of his game is his passing. Uh, I think he has the ability to make other people better. He plays to win. Uh, I like to see him to continue to get stronger. Uh, I think uh, his post defense at times, uh, you know, he, I think he's he's going to be terrific because uh, he's got great feet. Uh, I think his versatility to front the post, uh, to play behind in the post, and uh, I think he's got to be a leader because he's, He's behind the defense. He has to be vocal. He has to be able to communicate with his teammates. He has to be able to anchor our defense. So, uh, and I'd like to see him to continue to maybe develop uh, his post game. I think he's come a long way. Uh, his right hand hook, uh, left hand hook, terrific. Uh, Taj Gibson, to me, was uh, for a rookie. I was very impressed for a rookie to come into the league and play the type of defense that he did. Was very impressive. I think as he gains more experience, he'll get better and better. Uh, Kirk Heinrich. Uh, you know, I think uh, the, I've always admired his game because of his versatility. Uh, great competitive spirit. Uh, I think he, he's, uh, he has the ability to play the point, the off guard. I thought he, he has shown that he could defend three positions. I know in our playoff series, I thought he, he, he guarded Paul Pierce, he guarded Ray Allen, he guarded Rajan. Uh, and and he, he's, he has great versatility. So obviously we'd like him to con- continue to do that. Uh, and you know, I think the fact that you can play him with Derek, you can you can play him even at small forward. Uh, I think that adds a lot to your team. Uh, Luol Deng, I think, is uh, one of the more underrated players in the league because he he does so much without the ball. Uh, you constantly have to pay attention to him. Uh, he's in constant motion. Uh, I think he, he can hurt you a lot of different ways with mid-range game, uh, post-up game, the slash game. Uh, I think he's, his shooting has improved. I think the corner three is a good shot for him. Uh, I'd like to see him to continue to work on that. Uh, but again, I, I, I like the fact that I think he's an all-around player, good competitor. Uh, those are some of the things that I think that stand out about the team. I think there's a great young nucleus uh, to develop. It's, it'll be my job to make us better, uh, and I'm looking forward to that. When you look at their team, and, and based on my experience uh, from the playoff series from two years ago in this past season, uh, the thing that stood out to me was how hard they competed. Uh, when I, I looked at Derek Rose and I, and I looked at Noah and, and, and Luol Dang, 
uh, and Kirk Heinrich, those guys competed so hard on every play and they had no fear. So those were some of the qualities that I thought really made this job very attractive. Uh, I think having a, a great young nucleus uh, is very important. Uh, I thought that uh, Gar, John, and, uh, and their staff did a great job of uh, managing the cap and putting themselves in position uh, to be a player in free agency. Uh, uh, when you look at the, the future of the team, I, I think it has everything that you would look for. Uh, again, a good young nucleus, uh, position to add through the draft and free agency.